Now we're going to cover the suborder Sternorhynchia, and this is also in the Hemiptera group. If you're a junior, you're lucky because there's only one that you need to know. Intermediates, you have four that you need to know in addition to the, that one junior, so you actually have five. And then seniors, you have an additional two. So for juniors, the only one that you guys need to know is aphids. Aphids are in the order Hemiptera. All Hemipterans have piercing sucking mouth parts. All Hemipterans have a, a hemimetabolous life cycle or incomplete life cycle. So aphids are teeny tiny little things. Um, what I would know about them is that they have these little things called cornicles at the end of their abdomen. And those, they're little tubes at the end of the abdomen and we believe that they produce um, uh, pheromones, so like communication, important in communication. Sometimes uh, these guys can produce young without mating and that is called parthenogenesis for the intermediates and seniors, seniors especially. And that just means that mom makes identical clones of herself, so they're able to reproduce super duper fast. And they're definitely considered a pest because they plant, they suck the juices from plants and they produce honeydew. And the host or location that you should know for them, corn and sorghum, is where they're a pretty significant pest. <laughs> if you're a junior, you can go ahead and um, shut it down because that was the only hemipteran that you needed to know in this suborder of Sternorhynchia. This is a picture, though, of a lot of ants that are tending to these aphids. This is a picture of all aphids on the back side of this plant. All the white things that you see are actually the shed skin of the aphids. And so these ants are going to tend to the aphids, which means that they care for them and protect them and drink the honeydew that they produce. And honeydew is basically their um, excrement. It's sweet because it's sweet like the sap of the plant. And so the, the bees like it, or the ants like it. If you're an intermediate or a senior, you're going to need to know the green bug. A green bug is a type of aphid, but it's only found on small grains, and the tips of its feet, the tips of its abdomen, and the tips of the cornicle are all um, colored in black. So that's the big difference between the two. So look for the coloring to know if it's a, a black bug, I mean a green bug, or something else. Psyllids are another one that you need to know as an intermediate and senior. Psyllids are pests of potatoes and other plants, but for the contest, we're gonna say potato is the host. Um, this picture is not a psyllid right here on the right-hand side, so you can just kind of ignore that picture, but the one on the left-hand side is. Um, basically, um, they jump along the plants. They carry diseases from plant to plant, so they're considered a vector. Looks kind of similar to it, the tree hopper, plant hopper, or leaf hopper but those guys didn't, you couldn't really see their head and thorax quite as well. You know, their wings almost seem to arise from the top of their head. You guys are also gonna need to know armored scales. There's armored scales and there's soft scales. Armored scales body is hidden in, in a hard wax and um, trees and shrubs are gonna be their um, host. Piercing sucking mouth parts definitely considered a pest. Whereas soft scales, are not covered in a total, total hard wax. You can actually kind of tell that there's an animal in there somewhere. I would just Google a lot of different pictures so that you can tell the difference between soft scales and hard scales, but both are major pests. Soft scales are, while um, armored scales are found on trees and shrubs, soft scales are found a little more often on ornamental trees, but they're all found on all trees. Now, if you're an intermediate, those were the only ones that you needed to know, soft scale, armored scale, psyllid, green bug, and aphid. If you're a senior, there's a couple more that you need to know, and one is the pecan um, phylorexa. So obviously their hosts are gonna be pecans. And this is a little teeny, teeny tiny little bug that when it feeds, I believe, it's when it feeds, it makes galls on the leaves. Um, and so it's a pest in that respect because it causes deformities of the leaves, but also if the plant is fixing itself on the leaves, then it's not producing a pecan like you want it to produce. And our last one are the white flies. White flies are teeny tiny little flies that look like, that are white. Little white flies. They're small. They're a major pest of um, lots of different vegetable crops. They're a major pest in greenhouses. They're also a pest on cotton. So um, cotton and vegetables are the two hosts to, that I would know. Piercing, sucking, mouth parts, incomplete life cycle, um, and definitely a significant pest. So that's everything for the order 
uh, or the suborder um, Sternorhynchia in the order Hemiptera. Um, remember, there were four different, or there were three different suborders for Hemiptera: Heteroptera, Echinorhynchia, and Sternorhynchia. And so, if you're an intermediate or a senior, I would know to differentiate between those suborders. If you're a junior, Hemiptera is probably going to be good enough for the contest for you.